It's News Talk 1230 WFAS AM. It is Orlando in the morning. But wait a long time. is a long time fan to be doing this and talking to none other than Mr. Joey Kramer from Harrisburg. Joey. <laughs> Good morning, man. How are you? I'm all right. So years ago, I'm listening to all my Aerosmith albums in my room, and the last thing I uh-huh. ever expect is to be holding your coffee, rocking and roasting in my hands. Well, you know, it's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I've been a, I've been a coffee freak for, for years and years and years. Okay. And uh, I've always drank coffee. I've always loved it. And I've always been on the search for the perfect cup of coffee. You know, years ago, I decided I was going to do this, but I've just never really had the time to do it. And so now we're looking at a little bit of time off, and we have had a little bit of time off. So I'm like, I've put a team together of people that I've wanted to work with for a while. And uh, when they all became available, I snatched them up. We've been saturating the Northeast because that's where, you know, home is. And so that's where we started. But we're, well, I'm talking to people all over the country. I'm tweeting all the time. And uh, the coffee is like, you know, people are loving it. And I'm loving that they're loving it. And it's just a love fest. It's great. Was it easier to look back at all the bad cups of coffee you had or emulate all the good cups of coffee you had? Uh, the bad definitely helped. But, you know, there's so much bad out there that it's not real hard to find it, you know? <laughs> right. Most, I don't think that most people are really conscious or have an awareness of the quality of coffee that they drink. I'm bringing gourmet coffee to the consumer at a reasonable price, which really hasn't been done before because right. most gourmet coffee is really, really expensive. You know, if you get into any kind of Kona coffee or Blue Mountain coffee or any of the gourmet stuff, it's right. like really, really expensive. My coffee, and- I, I will put up against any of those and stand by it, and it's way, way cheaper. And with all the trendy places that there are to drink and get coffee, and it's $5 for a cup. That particular company that you're talking about? Yes. Which, you know, I can't mention, but I know everybody knows what we're talking about. I think that, I, you know, I've never liked their coffee. Okay. It's, it's It tastes bitter to me, and I think that the only reason that people drink it is because they're, they're looking for the buzz they get off it, which is the caffeine buzz, which is fine, but it doesn't taste very good. I think that they got to a point in time where they started to confuse quantity with quality. I promise my consumers I will never do that. You know, they got to the point where it became such a big conglomerate that they confused the quality with the, the quantity. So one replaced the other. I'm not just a celebrity putting his name on a product to make money. I'm the CEO of my company. I'm hands-on, and I have everything to do with everything that goes on. We're talking to Joey Kramer, drummer from Aerosmith, and now not only coffee connoisseur, but coffee maker. And, Joey, in my hand, you guys were nice enough to send me your organic Guatemalan coffee. Uh Uh-huh. My wife is huge, huge into this right now. What went into this particular coffee? The Guatemalan happens to be, right now, my favorite. Okay. It's a really rich coffee. It's very robust. You know, it it can be a tiny bit on the strong side. When I drink my coffee, I drink it with, I always throw a shot of espresso in my coffee. Okay. Uh, you know, to, to give it just a little kick. And, what, and I'm going to be coming out with an espresso roast really soon. Cool. That would be the perfect match to throw into either the Guatemalan or the Sumatran or the Ethiopian. But the Guatemalan right at the moment is my favorite because it's the most robust. Now, is there something about the beans in the Guatemalan coffee that are different than the other coffee beans? Well, other than the fact that they're more expensive than any other beans. <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Design, the package, the dragon. How much hands-on did you have in the packaging of this stuff? I worked very closely with uh, a guy that worked for the company that I hired to, to, to do that. Okay. I came up with the initial idea, and then we went from there, you know, because I had uh, – I did a loops and sample CD about, oh, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, ten years ago, and there was a dragon on that I used in the CD cover. It wasn't the same dragon – but I've always had an affinity for dragons. So okay. the coffee the coffee will always be all about my favorite stuff. That is great. So you were on tour just a couple of weeks ago with Aerosmith in Asia, I was told. What's the coffee like yeah, over there? Uh, the coffee is good. The coffee, as a rule, is better in Europe than it is here. Okay. I mean, I say that because I like I like my coffee strong. Right. And it's, and it's stronger over there. They're not into the kind of the ways that we are of brewing coffee. They're into, you know, over in the, in the United States here, 
everybody's into these like single serving cups, you know, to get to get to jam that cup down your throat in the morning and yep. get out of the house and get to the office. And over there, they you know they do a couple of different kinds of brewing. You know, okay. they do it in the French in the French press, or they grind it themselves, or you know, but they're more interested in the taste and the flavor of what it is that they're drinking. And I guess they have more time. America is okay. in a big hurry. Right. Well, that's been that's been said about us for years. Yeah. Right. I tell you what. Do you share this with the other guys in the band? Uh, sometimes, sometimes they're, they're you know they know about the coffee. They're you know everybody's kind of into their own different things at the moment. You know, and that's the way that it is. It's the way it should be. It keeps it healthy. Aerosmith has had their separation periods and things like that. During those times, is that when you really start thinking about doing stuff like this, about doing coffee and doing other projects? Not really, because when those times came around, I was never real. I was too busy trying to keep it together, okay. as opposed to trying to think of a different direction to go in. This is this this what I'm doing now is purely for my own head and my own just for myself you know okay. and um and it, and it's a fun thing to do you know and it takes me away from everything else and i really enjoy it because i enjoy going out i go to all the meetings with the grocers i go to all the meetings with the executives you know they get a big charge out of the fact that i'm there and i love dealing with people you actually do it kind of well so when you do something really well and you love it you know, it's not really work. I saw Aerosmith for the first time at Jones Beach in 1994. Wow. And ironically enough, I was 16 years old, and mm -hmm. I don't know why this ties in, but that was the first time I hadn't had a cup of coffee because it was freezing out that night. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and here we are talking about Joey Kramer's rockin' and roastin' coffee music to your lips, which I love, by the way. Wow. That is really, <laughs> that is really funny, man. You want to talk a little bit about the website, where we could find this coffee? Uh, well, you can get it, well, first of all, online, it's rockinandroastin.com. Okay. And so you can get it online. It's going to be coming to some stores in New York. We're at, we're at Big Y in Massachusetts, and we're at Bizzuto's, who's a, who's a distributor for a lot of the stores. Okay. And uh, we're at the we're at the, uh, some of the butcher markets. We're going to be coming to more stores in New York really soon. Right now, okay. we're at about 300 retail stores, and we're working on uh, on the retail deals. You know, it's it's coming at me so fast that I'm having sure. a little difficulty dealing with it all and making everybody happy. But right. uh, we're giving it our best shot. You know, because we're a small team and a small roaster, the demand is becoming overwhelming. Got to be exciting hearing about all these stores. Oh, it is. It yes. is. It's very exciting. I believe that you guys are also in Connecticut, right? I think there's some big Y stores in Connecticut. Yep. I mean, here yeah, at we're gonna we're going to spread the word about this because I shared it with some of the people at the job. Everybody's raving about it, and that's not a sales point. Uh -huh. This really is. I mean, I can smell it through the bag right now. This really is amazing call. I know. It, real, it is. Well, that's the thing, man, is that it's not, like I said before, I'm not, I'm not a celebrity putting my name on a product to make money. I'm, sure. I'm doing it because I love the coffee and I want everybody else to love it. You know, if I make some dough, I, that's one thing. But it's like, you know, it's a labor of love. Right. And, and right. I only know how to do things one way, and that's the right way and the best way. And that's why the package looks the way that it does, and the coffee is what it is. And you know, and if it, however it turns out, you know, that's the way that it is. When you look at your business model, did you look at other celebrities and how they sold their products, or did you just do this no, all I on didn't. your own? Okay. No, I didn't. I'm doing it all on my own. Cool. Doing it all on my own, learning as I go, making my mistakes as I go, and uh, correcting them. And uh, like I said, I have a really great team. You know, I have I have uh, a few other guys that I work with that are part of the team. Um, we work together as a team. Okay. That's one thing I'm good at, being a te teammate. I'm the CEO. I make all the final decisions. We're talking to Joey Kramer from Aerosmith. The proud owner of Rockin' and Roasting Coffee, music to your lips. So, Joey, Aerosmith has been on tour since, what, 1971? Something like that. You've been <laughs> all over all over the world with the band. Yeah. And I'm sure you've yeah. had cups of coffee in every single state and city. Where did you find the best coffee until you got your own? Um, in other words, what was I drinking before that? Yeah. right. The coffee that I was drinking... Before I put Rockin' and Roasted together, 
was a brand called Nespresso. Okay. Now, now I don't know if you're familiar with them at all, but um, they're like it's a pod that you use. Most of the pods are single serve, and it's ground coffee in the pod. What right. Nespresso is, is it's actually coffee that's in the pod. And you have to have a special machine for it, which they sell. And they're the only ones you can buy the pods from, thereby them maintaining the quality and, and, the, um, and of, the, of the coffee that they're selling. And it's really, really good. Aerosmith has always been, to me, a, a working man's band, a blue-collar band. You guys have you've been rocking for so long. I took... This coffee, I bought a $10 coffee grinder at a yard sale, and that's how we made it. It's accessible to everyone. By the way, we have ground now, too. Okay. So so when you're on the website, you can order whole beans, ground, or pretty soon we'll have, uh, as long as we can keep the quality together, we're going to have the uh, single-serve cups as well. We're talking to Joey Kramer from Maris. But Joey, I don't want to keep you. I know you got a lot of things to do, so I just want to ask you one more question. We're talking to Joey Kramer from Maris. But Joey, I know you got a lot going on, so I don't want to keep you. Uh, but I've got one more question. We're on the website. We can order the coffee. How easy is it to get the coffee delivered? Do you guys have a good customer service desk and that kind of thing? Oh, yeah, there's no problem at all. You, you can use your credit card. It's it's, it's easy as pie. It's, easy, it's right. just as easy as ordering anything else. If you're in your area, which is the New York area, it should be quick because it's not that far. Sure. It's roasted in Massachusetts. So what's next for Joey Kramer? Uh, well, we're going to be taking a little bit of time off uh, um, after we're going to South America in October. Okay. And uh, we just came back from Singapore and Malaysia and New Zealand and Japan. Going to South America in October. When we come back from South America, we're going to be taking a break probably until the spring. And then uh, we're going to go out and do the States and Europe, I believe. That's what the plan is. I saw Aerosmith on their last tour. You guys haven't missed a beat. The first time I saw you was 94. second time was, what, two years ago. And you guys... Well, thanks, man. You guys sounded absolutely amazing, and I appreciate the time that you took with us. Joey, I want to wish you the best one more time. Do you want to talk about the website, where we can find the coffee? It's at rockinandroastin.com. Okay. And, uh, you know, get on there, order your coffee, and uh, wherever, you know, wh whenever we sign up with a, uh, with a retailer around the area, there will be a blog on the website so you can stay in touch with the website. Or uh, we always put uh, a, pre a press release out to uh, to let people know, you know, where where we're going to be at and what stores in your area. So it'll either be in the newspaper or online. I really, really appreciate you calling in, and I wish you the best of luck with your coffee. If there is any new flavors you want to talk about, introduce in the New York area, please give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you about it. Uh, thanks, Brian. Joe, you have a great day, my brother. Be good. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.